first time putting the compound turbos to the test with a towing video because it's also only been 24 hours since they've been installed so we're going to hook up the 20 foot trailer right now and we are going to go pick up a tractor if you guys haven't seen this yet maybe you're new to the channel we got some leather interior it's five speed oh, let me show you what we got going under the hood yeah you guys gonna like this if you haven't seen it boom right here pusher compound turbo kit thing is freaking sick it's gonna be the first time really putting some miles on this kit we're gonna be driving about 42 miles there 42 miles back pusher did also reach out to me and offer to send us a twin in their twin intake system on this truck and I just want to tell you guys right now I would recommend their kit over the banks kit for a various amount of reasons but the only reason I'm not going to swap it out is because this truck is going to be going to one of you guys here in just a few days and I don't want to you know tear everything apart and then reinstall everything right now since it is going out so soon just so you guys know pusher does make their own twin intake system that matches all of their stuff it's the same you know tubular style piping and all that jazz and it looks way better and it functions a lot better but um, I only use this because I had it in the barn and I bought it a couple years ago and never used it
Well, we made it back. The dually did great. Okay, everything, everything was great with that. Performed well, no exhaust leaks. Here is the tractor. It's a 19, I believe it's a 1954. It's a Model 600. I'm kind of confused on a couple of things though because it says Model 600 on here and I was told that it's a Model 640. But I don't know if like 600 is just the series of tractor and 640 is the actual like model of this specific one or not. I don't know how that works. All I know is it starts great, runs great. The guy said that he's never really had any issues with it other than a couple of minor things that they were able to address super easily. Of course, it's gasoline powered. One, one quirky thing about it though, and is that's that the key doesn't start it anymore, but their fix was just putting those up there, you just plug those together, you hit the button, and then it starts up like it's supposed to. Just no key. Still does the job just fine. Now, it did come with the bush hog. The whole setup was 2,500 bucks. The tractor with the bush hog, he said everything runs great. Brand new rear tires on the tractor. He said that the wheels were taken off and sandblasted about two years ago and repainted. There she is. Like, I really don't even know like the full reason why I bought the tractor because I, I saw it pop up for sale and my first thoughts were, you know, oh, this would be a great tractor for doing, you know, the food plots and bush hogging the properties and whatever, because, you know, it's two wheel drive. I get that. So if it's raining on a day like this, probably not the best idea to go and do a bunch of mowing and stuff and, you know, getting stuck and whatnot in damp areas. But I just saw it and I was like, you know, I'm like, ah, it could be great for that. But then I'm like, you know what, my father-in-law, he could use it more than I could because he's got nine acres of field to mow. And right now he's doing it every couple of weeks with a zero turn. It's a lot of mowing to do on that zero turn. And it's just not as comfortable as like something like this would be, even though the seat is nothing special on this, but the field is just, just rough enough to where this would be a lot nicer to do than a small zero turn mower. And so I was thinking, well, maybe he'd want to buy it. So I offered it to him and then he thought, yeah, I'd be, I'd be interested. You know, if you know, if you're not buying it, you know, then yeah, I'd be interested. So I'm like, oh, cool. And then I'm like, maybe I would use it more, you know? So then I was like, I don't know. So then I told him, I was like, yeah, if you want to buy it, you can buy it, you know? And so we haven't finalized anything. I'm not really sure. All I know is it was 2,500 bucks and it runs and drives, goes through all the gears just fine, reverse works, and the PTO works, everything works, the lights work. And so they were like, no, it's literally a great tractor. We just, we don't have a use for it. We just bought another one that's newer and uh, we just don't need it anymore, you know? They've had it a while and no more no more use for it so i was like for that price so i'm like i can't get a brand new bush hog for less than 1500 bucks so i'm like the whole tractor for 2500 i'm in with the bush hog i'm like let's do it and i just you know we didn't work out the details whether or not i'd actually be keeping the tractor or my father-in-law was going to purchase it off of me now that i picked it up but either way, it was just a really good deal. And I know that one of us are gonna be able to use it. So I thought, what the heck, it's a good deal. Let's buy it. We'll work out the details later on. But in the meantime, here she is. I'm gonna admit right now, I feel a little bit stupid. I thought this was like the screaming deal of the century and I'm still totally happy with having a tractor with a bush hog that runs good for 2,500 because let's be honest, yes, it's like 60 plus years old, but I can't go buy a new tractor with a bush hog for 2,500 bucks. Let's just say that one of the attachments for my new tractor would cost as much as this one did with the bush hog on it. So I'm still happy either way. I didn't realize these were everywhere for like two grand. I had no idea. So like when I got on Facebook one day, I've in the past looked up tractors for sale and whatever. So the software on Facebook, of course, will track your history and what you do and it'll randomly pop up ads for things that you might be interested in buying. So I get on looking for trucks and it's a tractor for sale, 2,500 bucks, you know, and it was like 40 minutes away. It's like, oh my gosh, this is a great deal. You know, it's got a bush hog. It's a, it's a great running tractor. It says like, I gotta buy this thing, you know? So I run up there and buy it. And then I get back and I'm like, I wonder, I wonder if this is really a good deal. Like I had no idea. All I knew is the tractor ran great and it had a bush hog on it. It was 2,500 bucks. I'm doing the math on any other tractor I could buy right now with a bush hog. And I'm like, this is, I mean, 
this has got to be a, you know the deal of the century these things are everywhere for 1500 to 2500 dollars i had no idea but i'm still happy with this and it was great meeting you you know who you are it was great meeting you and uh it, it was worth it just for that aspect to buy the tractor from somebody who you know recognized you and you know had friends that watched my videos and stuff it was kind of cool so um that was nice and uh it was a very very cool experience buying this tractor i got to see a lot of cool stuff at that shop but um, yeah, super happy with it. Uh, like I said, guys, this might not be sticking around here much, but if you guys are interested in seeing tractor content on a tractor like this, I know it's not diesel, but they do have some old, old uh, Ford diesel tractors, I think, um, that are very similar year to this and very similar look and style. Or would you guys like to see a Model N series or uh, Model 600 or 640? however that works out. See some videos on something like that, like pulling the panels off and repainting stuff and whatever. I mean, I don't know, maybe that's not something many of you guys would be interested in. If not, no big deal. I'm planning on doing lots more of just the truck stuff on here, but if you guys would be interested in it, let me know because I mean, I'm getting kind of like excited just looking at this thing going, man, this thing could look like a really sweet old tractor if you put a couple of hours into it every day. So. I don't know, let me know down in the comments below, but otherwise I'm excited to have it. And uh, whether we keep this particular one or not, either way is not a big deal. I have no idea there were so many of them out there, but uh, yeah, pretty sweet. The trailer handled great, truck ran great. Couldn't be happier. I don't see any fluids leaking or anything, but I am gonna pop the hood and just uh, take a look under there, make sure there's no like oil oozing out of any of the lines or anything like that. So just to be sure, cause this is the first real test I've had with this truck because you know, I have, you know, I've only had the kit done for a few days now. So this is the first kind of long trip I've done with it. Everything seems to be good so far. Uh, the oil feed lines look good there, no leaks. No leaks down low on the big turbo. I don't see any leaks with the oil drain tube there. It does not appear to be leaking down by the other drain tube. I don't see any exhaust leaks. I don't see any like soot piling out of anywhere, out of the gaskets or anything on here. Boots look like they're all tight. Intake is still really tight. I think we're all good to go. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for the dually today. Handled really good. We got a tractor. Got to do a first time hauling with the compound turbos on the five speed 12 out, which is gonna be one of your guys' trucks here very soon. And also keep in mind that the giveaway for this truck starts on May 13th. Okay, so if you have not put that down on your calendars, your reminders, put an alarm on your phone and set it for May 13th. Be ready because the giveaway for this truck is gonna be live. Believe me, you want it. If you like Fords or if you just like old school cool in general, this thing is a stud. Runs awesome, super freaking clean. I mean, the thing is mint. 7.3 Power Stroke. My, my favorite version of the 7.3, to be honest, only because of the body style of this one. It's just so freaking cool. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.